Canucks hosting the Red Wings, and the Red Wings are plus 150 on the money line. The Canucks are minus 182. Over under, six and a half goals. The Red Wings getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 154, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. The Canucks laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 128, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. It's supposed to be Lyon and Demko, but neither goaltender has been confirmed yet. They've played each other once this year, and the Red Wings won that game 4-3 to three in overtime in Detroit. To me, this is one of those games that's a head-scratcher because when you read the stats or hear the stats, you're going to be confused as to why the Canucks are the favorite. Head-to-head, -head, the Red Wings are 7-3 and three against the Canucks in their last 10. The Red Wings have beaten the Canucks the last five times they played them. The home team is 6-4. and four. The underdog is on a two-game winning streak. The favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line, while the underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is 7-3. and three. There have been five one-goal games in their last 10, including the game they played against each other earlier this year. The over has hit in their last three. The under is 5-4-1, and one, and the under 6.5 goals is 6-4. and four. For the Red Wings, they are 2-2 two and two in their last four. There was a total of seven goals, five goals, seven goals, and then 12 goals. Five goals in a win, two goals in an overtime loss, four goals in an overtime win against the Canucks, and then Four goals and a loss when the Oilers just kicked the shit out of them. The game was close until the third period, and then the Oilers just opened up on them. For the Canucks, they are 2-2 two and two in their last four. Four goals, seven goals, five goals, and then six goals. Shutout and a loss, three goals and an overtime loss, three goals and an overtime win, and then four goals in a win. I'm going to take the Red Wings with the money line. I'm going to take the Red Wings getting the goals, and I'm going to go over, and until the Canucks show that they can beat them, there's a perfect underdog for you. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.